that vote, the Port Authority Board of Commissioners gave the green light to move forward with what they describe as a historic bridge construction program that will improve three bridges that connect New Jersey and New York, the Gothels, Bayonne, and Outer Bridge Crossing. These projects will create employment, new jobs in and of themselves, but more importantly, they allow the Port Authority, our ports in particular, to remain competitive and to increase the efficiency of moving goods across the rivers. Among the two large-scale projects approved is a plan to replace the Gothels Bridge. It's the first time in more than 80 years the Bi-State Agency will build a new span. The new bridge will feature wider travel lanes to help ease congestion. It's being paid for through a public-private partnership. It's the Gothels transactions, by minimizing public investment and minimizing the amount of public Port Authority debt capacity that's used, maximizes the amount that we have to spend on other transactions. Another ambitious project calls for raising the Bayonne Bridge. Engineers will build the bridge's roadbed above the existing one while traffic continues on the deck below. Once completed, the higher span will allow larger container ships to pass beneath, which is essential to help this region remain competitive, say officials and the shipper who testified today. The larger, more modern post-Panamax ships represent a more efficient and environmentally friendly way to move cargo along the supply chain from the point of origin to the point of destination. Resurfacing of the outer bridge crossing is expected to avoid costly emergency repairs. All three projects will create thousands of jobs. Construction on all three projects will start sometime this year. The resurfacing of the outer bridge crossing could wrap up by December. Most work on the Bayonne Bridge will be completed by 2015, and the new Goffles Bridge will open to traffic in 2016. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in New York City.